In this video, we're going to take a look at converting denary to floating point binary and also normalizing that. Uh, we're really going to uh, kind of do three things in this one video. We're going to go denary to fixed point binary and then change our fixed point binary to floating point binary while normalizing it at the same time. And when you're talking about normalization, there's some things you need to be aware of. The first two bits on the far left side that are in the mantissa must be different in order for it to be normalized. It must be either 0 0.1 or 1.0. When you're working with the mantissa, the decimal point goes between the first two bits on the far left side. This is why it must be either 0 0.1 or 1.0. That is what we consider normalized. It cannot be 1.1 or 0 0.0. When you're working with the mantissa, it's in two's complement. This means 1.0 is going to represent a negative number and 0.1 represents a positive number. The point of using a mantissa and exponent is so you can get really large numbers but while getting rid of some unnecessary numbers and we'll talk about what that means towards the end of the video. Now let's take a look at this uh, one real quick. It has a mantissa and exponent and we're going to determine if it's normalized. Now when you're looking at your mantissa and uh, exponent to see if it's normalized, you don't need to worry about the exponent. All you need to worry about are the first two bits in the mantissa. And we said the decimal goes between the first two bits on the left-hand side. So we ask, we see 0, 0.0. We ask ourselves, is it normalized? And it's not because we have 0, 0.0. In order for it to be normalized, it must be 0, 0.1 or 1.0. Because the first two bits are the same in the mantissa, it is not normalized. Now before we do our examples, we have to decide how many bits are we going to have in our mantissa and how many bits are we going to have for our exponent. Um, usually they're going to tell you. Sometimes they'll say you have two bytes of data, split it up between the mantissa and the exponent the way you want. Uh, because this is Cambridge, they usually give you a certain amount of bits for the mantissa and a certain amount of bits for the exponent. And we're going to be using what they uh, normally use. Normally they will give you 10 bits for the mantissa and 6 bits for the exponent. So we're going to be using that and using that uh, format, we're going to be looking at at these examples. If we had 8 bits for the mantissa, we could have 8 bits for the exponent. It would still work out uh, the same way. We are going to look at an example where we may have uh, too many numbers and why the mantissa and exponent and the floating point binary uh, number system can save you a lot of uh, space by getting rid of unnecessary numbers. We'll be taking a look at that as we move through. Okay, so our first example is 17.5 and what I need to do is I need to convert this to a binary number. So I'm going to have a decimal and I'll go out a few spaces. I think this is enough. Uh, remember when we're working with binary, we're starting here, we start with 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, 2 to the power of 1, which is 2, 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, and we keep moving up by the power of 1 or we keep doubling our number. Now, notice when we go from when we go to the right, we're not multiplying by 2 or doubling the number. Notice we'll be cutting it in half. 16 cut in half is 8. 8 cut in half is 4. 4 cut in half is 2. 2 cut in half is 1. When I get to my decimal, nothing changes. I just keep cutting it in half. Half of 1 is 0.5, which is 2 to the power of negative 1. Then my second space is going to be 2 to the power of negative 2, or I can cut it in half because it would be the same thing. 0.25 when I double that becomes 0.5 and then my third one out here is going to be 0.125 because that is half of 0.25 or 0 0.250. So we need 17.5. Well I need a 16 that would give me 16 and then I need one more which will give me 17 and then I need my 0.5. So this is my fixed point binary number. This is my fixed point binary number. Now, when I'm going to my mantissa and exponent, I need to make sure it's in two's complement. Because this is a positive 17, I know the leading number must be a zero. If I had a leading one, it would be a negative number and I wouldn't even be close uh, to the right answer. So we have uh, 10, point, or 10 bits for the mantissa, six, point, or six bits for the exponent. Is it normalized? Well, first of all, it's not even in the right spot and we have 1, 1. What we need to do is we need to move it over to here. To do that, I need to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots. 
So I'm gonna write five down so I remember that. And I'm gonna write this in my mantis uh, zero. And the decimal is always gonna go here, one. And then I have three zeros. So each of these uh, blocks are taken up a bit. And then I have two ones. And then I have two zeros. Now, um, I don't have 10 bits here. I only have nine. I have an unused uh, bit. You cannot leave it empty. A zero or one must go there. So what can I add here that will not change the value of 17.5? Well, a zero. If I add a one, that's going to change the value. And then um, what I have here is my decimal. How many spaces do I need to move it to get it backed, back to this number? Five spaces. I need to represent five in binary. Now remember, the exponent is also in two's complement, which means my leading number has to be a zero. And then I'm going to uh, have five, which is four and one. And then this is uh, my answer. This would be one, two, four, eight, 16. Uh, this would be a negative uh, 32, uh, actually, because if this was a one, it would be a negative. Uh, my four and one equal five. So this will get me both my fixed point number we did right up here, and then we normalized it by using floating point. So I need to make sure my floating point is right. My first two numbers are different. We have a zero and one, which indicates a positive number, and we know it's positive because we have a leading zero, and I have 17.5. This is normalized, and it works perfectly. So now let's do an example with a negative number. So we have 10, 0, 0, 1, 1. All right, 10, 0, 0, 0, 1, point one. Okay, so uh, there's a reason I'm using negative uh, 17.5, and that's a trick to show you how you can convert a number uh, to it, that's positive to negative uh, very easily. So uh, I want to check and make sure this is right first. Make sure I didn't add uh, too many. So one, two, four, eight. Nope. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to convert this. So this is my positive two's complement. It starts with a zero out front. So that would be uh, 32. I need to change this two's complement by making it uh, negative. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, six bits, and then one after the decimal. Now here's the rule. You're gonna move from right to left one bit at a time, ignoring all zeros until you get to the first one. Well, we don't have any zeros. We have our first one. That stays the same. Everything else gets flipped as you move from right to left. For example, we had this one. This changes to a zero. These three zeros change to a one. This one changes to a zero. And then this zero changes uh, to a one. And when you work this out, these numbers right here come out to negative 18. When you tack on the 0.5, that comes out to negative 17.5. So this is my fixed uh, point binary representation. It's not normalized, of course. And the reason it is not normalized is because um, the decimal is not even where it needs to be. But can we move it where we can get the uh, where we can get a one and a zero? And I need a leading one because it is a negative number. So I'm going to move it one, two, three, four five spaces. So I'm going to write that down. And now I have my mantissa, my exponent. All I'm going to do is copy what I have right here down into my mantissa. So one point zero, three ones, zero, and then my one. And then I have three bits that are unused. Something has to go there, either zeros or ones. I don't want to change the value of negative 17.5. So of course, zeros uh, would go here. And that's because what I'm looking at is negative 17.5 with some extra zeros there. So I'm not changing the value. Uh, this is obviously equivalent to negative 17.5. This is equivalent to our fixed point binary. Now, how many spaces do I need to move this back to the right in order to get this fixed point binary? Well, I already wrote that down. We said five spaces. Not a problem. I know this is going to be one, two, four, eight, 
16, negative 32. It's a positive exponent, so that's going to be a 0, and I'm looking for 5, which 4 plus 1 is going to be 5. So we have our fixed point binary system, or our fixed point binary number. We also moved it to floating point, and we normalized it. And we know it's normalized because right here I have a 1 and a 0. This leading 1 tells me that it is a negative number. And both of these bits are different, so we know it's normalized. All right, let's look at another example, 6.125. So I'm going to write out some uh, bits here. I think three will be enough. And then I know I need to uh, go at least three bits here. This would be 0 0.5. This would be 0 0.25, 0 0.125. And then what I need is I need six, which is four and two. So uh, that will work because this is one, two, four. And then what I need to do is lead it with a zero. All right, so my fixed point binary number is 0110.001. That is my fixed point binary number. It is not normalized. Well, our decimal is not even in the right place, but we need it between the zero and a one. So I'm moving it one, two, three spaces. So three spaces will get me 0 0.110. So now let's make sure it's normalized 0 0.1. The first two bits are different. So we can fill that in to our mantissa. So 0 0.110, then I have two more zeros, and then a one. Three bits that are unused here. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill that in with zeros here, and then I need to fix my exponent. Now, uh, I have to go back up here because I did not write down how many spaces I moved. One, two, three. I moved three spaces uh, to the left. Now, the reason my exponent is positive, you might be saying, well, you moved uh, three spaces uh, to the right or to the left. That should be a negative exponent. No, even though I didn't move to the left, that was just to get it normalized. If I move three spaces to the left, my number is not going to be uh, 6.125. It's going to be smaller. My decimal point needs to move back to where it was. It needs to move back from here three spaces uh, to the right. So uh, my exponent, do not forget, it is also in two's complement. So we have negative uh, 32. To get three, I need a one and a two. And my leading number must be a zero, which it will be because I'm not in the negatives. And that gives me my mantissa, my exponent, worked correctly. It also gives me my fixed point uh, binary number, uh, not system, but number. And then what I've done is I've changed it to floating point and I have normalized it. How do I know it's normalized? The first two bits in my, man, man, ugh, my mantissa are different. Not only that, the zero shows that it's a positive number. And when I look back at my uh, number that they gave me, 6.125 is positive. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change 6.125 to negative 6.125. And we can look at the last problem we had, 0, 011, 0, 0, 0, 001. So 0, 011, 0, and then uh, the 125 would be this. Now to change this to two's complement, what I'm going to do for is I'm going to uh, keep everything going from right to left, keep all my numbers the same until I reach that first one. The first one is the only thing is like my stopping point. Well, I don't have any zeros as I move from right to left. I start with a one. That is my stop sign. That says, okay, we're gonna keep this one the same. We're gonna invert everything else. That means these two zeros become ones. That means that this zero becomes a one. This one becomes a zero. The next one becomes a zero, and this one becomes a one. So what we have here is a our um, two's complement number. So this is one, two, four. We have negative eight. Uh, negative eight plus one is negative seven. But then what we have to do is we need to add, let's see here. Let's add these numbers. Actually, that's going to be uh, 0.75 plus point. One two five, and that comes out to 0 0.875. So uh, when I minus, uh, when I take negative seven and add 0 0.875, it comes out to negative 
to five. So it does uh, work out and it will work out uh, every single time. I'm just wrote that out uh, to show you. So uh, this is our fixed twos complement for negative 6.125. Now we ask ourselves, is it normalized? Well, no, it's not. Um, when we move our decimal, we'll have 1.0, which works out. I need to move it one, two, three spaces. And then my mantis is going to be 1.001, and then three ones. And then I have three unused bits. Those become zeros. Now, for my, because I don't want to change the value, I could really pad these with ones as well. Um, and that would give me uh, the same thing um, because it's a negative uh, number bit. For the uh, for right now, I'll leave it at zero. Uh, for the exponent, I have six bits. I need to get that to a uh, three. So one, two, four, eight, 16, negative 32. So to get three, I need a two and a one because two plus one is three. Now we have our fixed point uh, binary uh, twos complement number. And we've also normalized it. How do I know it's normalized? Because I have 1.0. The 1.0 means it's a negative number. And when I look at the problem they gave me, negative 6.125, we see that it is correct. So let's move on to our last example where we get a long binary number and we need to normalize it. So here we have a ridiculously long binary number. And uh, what we need to do is we need uh, to work it out. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, normalize it right here. Now, is it normalized? No, it's not. If I move it here, could this be normalized? Well, no, it can't because 0 0.1 would indicate a positive number. My two's complement number is a one, which means what I need to do is I need to normalize it. Well, if I move all the way over here, keep moving. I can put a zero here, but if I put a zero here, that means it's positive. Well, that is not what you do. That is not what you do at all. What we're doing is we're looking where we can get 1.0. So one, two spots will give me the 1.011. And uh, that will be my mantissa. That will be normalized. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna write that out and we're gonna get rid of all these extra ones that we don't need. We don't need all these extra ones. It's, it's just taking up unnecessary space. So it's gonna be 1.0, 1, 1, and then I'm just gonna pad these with zeros here. And that will give me my number, which it looks like it's going, well, we'll work it out in just a, a second. Now I moved it one, two spaces. So this needs to become a two. That is a positive uh, exponent. So that is going to be, uh, I'll write it one more time so you can see how we worked this out. I'm looking for two and my two value is right here. Now it's normalized. So if I do 1.011 and I move it two spaces, I get 101.1. So this is a one, two, this is a negative four. Negative four plus one is negative three. But then I have to add a 0.5. This comes out when I add the 0.5 to negative or to negative two point five. That just looks like a long two. Negative, I'm just gonna rewrite it. Negative two, there we go, 0.5. If we were to work this out, it would come out to negative two. 0.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write it out so you can see it and see that it does come out to negative 2.5 indeed. So you see I've written it out here. I have my uh, binary number. I wrote the values so you could see. So we start with negative 512. We minus 250 or add positive 256. That gives us negative 256. We add positive 128 which gets us to negative 128. Negative 128 plus 64 gets us to negative 64. Negative 64 plus 32 gets us to negative 32. Negative 32 plus 16 gets us to negative 16. Negative 16 plus 8 gets us to negative 8. Negative 8 plus 4 gets us to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus a positive 0.5 gets us to negative 2. 
0.5. So all these extra ones we we're able to get rid of. And with my mantissa and exponent, I can rewrite it just like this and have the same value as negative 2.5. So um, anytime you have extra bits left over, make sure you go ahead and pad those uh, with zeros so you're not changing the value. That's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next one.